Lizzie Bird, welcome back to Lego Brick Tales. Today, we are heading into a new area. Last episode, of course, we explored the medieval world, and this time, we're making our way to the city. Let's hop into the portal and get started with our little city adventure. I'm sure it'll be great. And here we are, a little park to start things off. I like it. Whoa, whoa, there's robots here? They're attacking. That doesn't look good. What are these things? So we gotta save the entire city from these monsters. My deductive circuits have just informed me that these those bots are the reason people here need our help. Okay, well, we'll certainly wanna help out with that, but in the meantime, I do have some things I can water up over here. It looks like it's gonna be another uh, chameleon to deal with. There we go. So that means there are only 13 more to go. We'll definitely have to try to take a look around. But there's a there's a robot here. There's a gentleman over that way. Troublemaking robot. Zero one zero zero one 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 zero zero. Oh no! Don't zap me! Oof! Let's steer clear of these bots. All right. Well, can't do that. But we can talk to you over here. This is uh somebody. Hey you there! What's going on here? The M mayor Mortimer. Whoa! Another robot monster thing. Don't be afraid, I'm one of the friendly ones. Oh, what a relief. Can you help me? I was playing with my friends and was just about to pass go. When there was a huge explosion and this portal opened and robots started pouring out and tearing the city apart. Army of robots? Does not sound like the kind of thing a creepy evil scientist living in the sewers would do. Oh, you have met Rita already? No, who's that? You just said it. She's the creepy scientist who lives in the sewers. You should ask her. She probably knows what's going on. Okay, we'll definitely try to figure that out then. In the meantime, though, I'd like to catch up to you a little bit more. You should go see if Rita knows anything about those robots. She's been holed up in the sewer making crazy devices for a while. All right then, so we'll try to figure that out soon, but for right now, I will get another bunny saved. That is 13 remaining. So let's enter this building for now, because it's really the only way I can go. Looks like there's been some construction up here. Can I build something? Rearrange those bricks so you can get where you want. I'm a little confused. Uh, what? Oh, so I just, I guess I want them up there. So we're making a staircase. Oh, I see, so I can pull these. That is so neat. Okay then, so we could just pull them out like this if we wanted to. It's gonna be a bit of a puzzle, isn't it? Um, Let's see, let's start with something like that. Maybe not that one but I could, huh. Could I just bring it out and rotate it? Would that get it in trouble? I think, yeah, I can't quite do that. Uh, Cause if I were to simulate it, it disappears. Yeah, that's a bit odd. Um, but I guess what I could do here is I could just remove the, the bunch of them, right? And I could just totally reconstruct how this works. Yeah, for sure. Because that way I could put them out like this. Okay. Yeah, like that. And then, could get another one so that we could just do that again. Maybe, there it goes. Um, hmm. Okay, so my recording stopped for some reason, but I got this mostly built, as you can see. They will go up, but why it's so messy is because I need to find my way, my own way up there, because I can't just walk over, it won't let me. So I had to build this so that we can go up like this, and now we can reach it ourselves. So that was sort of a little silly spot, but now we can open up this thing right here, and keep it moving. That was definitely odd. Now I need to go back to where I came. And I guess we might need to build a bridge or something right over here. Build. Uh, build a fire escape staircase. Sure, so we'll try doing that. Um, what are my different slots? I don't know what that is. Uh, so we need to get all the test robots to the goal and nothing may break. This is interesting. So we have multiple staircases. Um, hmm. First off, I'm just trying to figure out what's the best way to get this up there, because, whoa, uh, I'll do that. That does count, apparently. So we're good there, right? I guess so. So obviously if we were to simulate this. Oh, the robots are starting from up there, okay. I still think it's good to build it from bottom up. Just getting a little thing like that in there, maybe putting this here and that there. Would that be good? I think that's fine, actually. And let's try to build the platform for each one to make sure we actually have enough pieces before we Go too crazy. So you get this one right there, and then this one here, and then same deal. Get 
this here and there. Here and there. Okay, looking good. So what I could do from there, if I wanna make it a little bit more sturdy, do something like that, I think. And before we add any kind of extra flair to it, the only, I guess the only struggle, right, is that we got them up there, but how are we going to get them? Huh, yeah. How do I? I guess it's supposed to be like that. That's odd, okay, I think I understand now. If we were to do something, oh no, undo, like that, put this here. I mean, that should attach, right? If I were to, yeah, okay. If that's the case, I probably want to, I might wanna undo this, put this here first. And then maybe another one here just to really even it out. Then put that there just to make sure it's like as solid as I can make it. Because that's what I'm a little afraid of right now is that any kind of weight is just gonna make it fall straight down. Because then it goes like that and that's much better as you can see. Um, this is certainly not gonna be easy to figure out but I think we're getting somewhere. Um, I think from here, I'll use one of these. Does that match up? Oh, it's actually not quite tall enough. So how can I fix that? Um, suppose by just doing that and then doing this. This is so tricky though. So do something like that, get another staircase and put it right there. Okay, that sort of works, but I need it there. Okay, so that's not too bad just yet. I guess I can do a similar attempt on this side. So like remove this stuff, put it like this, get this here. That doesn't seem so bad so far. Hmm. Yeah, I'll try putting this here. I just don't know if any of this is gonna be sturdy enough. That's just sort of where we have to have a bit of trial and error, I suppose. But here's hoping. So I'm going to remove that. Put it like this, oh no, like that. And then same deal, just get this across. I might make it the longer pieces just so it's a little bit more sturdy. And let's just try to simulate it. And it immediately all falls, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's just too much. Hmm. Oh, you know what, what if we did, we have a lot of these pieces. If we added those, I might need to add an extra one here. There we go. Added something like that. Ooh, okay. I might need to do that in a different spot too. Hmm. Okay, I see. We just need extra levels of support. But a good lesson to learn though, right? Um. Just trying to find out exactly where they would go, where would be the best spot for them. It's gonna be a little tricky, but I think we can do it. What if I added another one just right on top of it? I don't think there's enough space at the moment. What if I just remove this and this added? Oh no. It ran on top of it. I don't know why it's being so picky with that. It worked for a second. Maybe it didn't. Okay, so. Keep those there then, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't matter anyways, okay. Uh, well, one way we could make it work is if we just shifted it over just slightly, and then there we go. I might just test that really quickly. I know it's gonna fall over here, right? Yep, so I know this is messy. It's not the most organized attempt at this, but I could just get something to work. That's sort of the big goal for right now. So put that there, and then I have one more of these pieces I could use right on top of all that, right? Oh, it doesn't quite fit. But if I remove this, grab that again, there we go. Let's just simulate that really quickly. It's sort of better, but it definitely needs to be sturdier. Um, What if I added, oh, it doesn't quite fit the way I would need it to. Oh, I clicked off the game. Not what I wanted, <laughs> there we go. Um, Hmm. So let's undo that. So many options, so many options. Uh, 
Yeah, I can't just add that there, unfortunately. There are so many like different elements on where things can go wrong, it gets so crazy. But I think I might just have to start everything entirely from scratch again. I don't really see too many other ways I could really do this with what I currently have. Oh no. Uh, Cause I could add some extra, you know, pieces of support around here. But I don't know where else it might be falling. It's still mostly falling there. Um, and I can see why, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, but why won't that fit on top? I know it does. Just didn't get the best angle up before. Cause I think just even an extra layer of support here would make for a huge difference. So I'm just trying to, no, no, no. Yeah, move this over, bring these up. And let's see how that works. Uh, simulate, holding it, no, I was gonna say it's holding a lot more sturdy for a moment. And then it's it's all this here. See, like, I don't think this needs to be here. I think it needs to be somewhere else. Um, Maybe more like this. I don't know if the robots will have the room to scoot through though. That's where things get, just get so complicated. Uh, I do have more. No, no, no. Why would it want me to do that? Uh, I could almost add that right on top. I can from here. And then I could just sneak one of these pieces in. Just like that. Let's simulate that. Let's see if this holds any better. Oh man, it doesn't. It all just snaps. So I think this needs to be, let's see, is there any way I can just clear construction? There we go. I have to start all over from scratch because this just isn't quite working out. Okay, this has been a total mess for me. I'm expecting something to fall apart here. Guess we'll see. Oh, it looks like they don't have enough space to get to that one. But as you can see, I've been really trying to use the scaffolding. It's it's hard to place in coherent spots where it actually spaces out properly, but they go down to this platform. Um, they're supposed to, you know, go across to here. And this is where they're having a, tr a little bit of trouble right now. But I can solve that, I think, pretty easily just by doing that and then putting another one on top. Let's try it now. I don't know if that's gonna be super sturdy. We might have to reinforce some things. But here they come. Oh, but they can't quite get across the railing, of course. I feel like these stairs are made too bulky for what the job is. Um, Cause I could do that, but here comes a whole new issue where I can't get it to be that wide. That's not allowed. It just, it's so bizarre. It feels like we're expected to do so much with so little here. And I'm doing what I can about that, but it's challenging. So I don't think I can make it any farther out than that. I think that's the farthest if I were to rotate this. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's hope that they can do that. If not, I'm in some real trouble. Um, can they get across? Yes, they can. Okay, that's good. Um, well, some of them can. Some of them are getting lost. Some of them are getting confused. And these two can't make it, I guess, through here. It's hard to tell exactly. The thing I'm worried about is I could move that over, but that might make everything weak. Uh, so far, no, it's holding, okay? See, these two get so confused for some reason, and then they all get confused, and I don't know why exactly, but it might have to do with something over here. If I were to, and I'm sorry, because this isn't really the best building experience, I'm sure, so if you're following along, it might be a little confusing, but it's just, this is definitely the most difficult build so far getting something to work here. It seems so simple and then you try it and it just doesn't really work out. Why do these two, why do they keep getting stuck here? I don't know, that hardly feels fair. Um, maybe I could do that to just make it a little bit more streamlined for them. I don't think that actually changes anything now that I'm looking at it though. Uh, geez, yeah, that just gets them stuck. What if I were to rotate this? Can I put that under the railing? Yeah, I can, okay, that's good at the least. Maybe that would help, I, I don't know. It's, just, it's hard to know where they're getting stuck at the moment. Um, but if this doesn't work, I might just have to start from scratch again. It's always these two getting stuck. I don't know why they turn around here. That makes no sense to me. So I'm just gonna try my best to even everything out. And, and we'll see how things go from there. Please don't break, please don't break, please don't break. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness, is this about to happen? 
It is. Okay, that took so many iterations. I have been here for a good long while trying to figure out how this all works. So before I move on, I do just want to show it. Obviously, I just sort of have this box structure at the front. The front, the easiest part, this very top one. But then I have this, and like using these scaffoldings was so so important. You can see I got a couple more over here, but then this little X in the back using that back section to really stabilize this middle part. You can see I have pieces going every which way, just trying to stabilize that little bit. And it took so much time and effort to really go in there and make sure it works. But I did it. We can get through, I hope. I can fit through, right? Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. How do I get that one blue bird though, I wonder? I guess I would have to rebuild it in a way that would actually allow me to get up there. Okay, well, we're not gonna worry about any of that right now. That is for a future episode for sure. But for right now, I just wanna climb up here and see what we have in store for us. We still have so much more to do in today's episode. I'm sure more of this stuff, which I don't really know how to interact with. We might figure that out in today's episode though, which would be exciting, but I'm so glad we got through that building. It was a disaster <laughs> to say the least. Um, I don't know why they made it so difficult, but yeah, now we're out in the city. Is there anything to do over here? I thought I saw somebody. Oh, there is, there's somebody to talk to over here. Hello. This is an ornithologist. Greetings, I'm an ornithologist and art theorist researching avian coloration. Bring me 20 flying vertebrates, kingdom animalia, phyl phylum chordata, class aves, or aves, I think, and make sure they're blue. You need 20 birds that are blue, but not 20 blue birds. Got it? All right, well, I found some of them, but there's still plenty more to find throughout our adventure, I'm sure. So yeah, we came in from that door to the right. Could we go into the sewer? We could, which is where we needed to go to talk to some kind of crazy scientist. See, we need to find scientist Rita. All right, Rita, wherever you are, I would like to talk to you and get this figured out. Oh, there's a little ladybug waiting for us too. Oh no, 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 bad, bad, bad. How did it go so horribly wrong? All I wanted to do was reach across the perceivable universe via overlapping wormholes. None of my formulas could have predicted that it would rip the city from the local space time and cause a power outage. And it's certainly not my fault we were placed in a reality where robots from the past future invade to reduce the city to bricks and plates. Oh no, certainly seems like something we could help with maybe. Uh, if you don't stop monologuing, I'm just going to assume you're the villain here. There's no time to point out that I could have easily foreseen the potential catastrophe of my ill-conceived plan that the city needs our help, or your help. Yeah, fine, we'll clean up your mess, but then you'll admit what you did to everyone so they know whose fault it was. Uh, uh-huh. First, you should check the power plant. Just head in this direction. Will do, in just a moment, we need to check the situation in the city's power plant after I grab a cute little ladybug. So what about over here, anything? Not anything that I can see, so we'll leave that for now. There is a little spot I can water, but I don't know if I'm supposed to reach it from here. Let's see. Oh no. Wait, there we go. Okay, so I can water this, but once again, it is something for the millionth time I cannot interact with. So I really hope that's the thing we unlock in today's episode. So it just opens up so many more exploration possibilities for us. Uh, we can do this, which opens up something. So that's cool. Can't climb, no I can, maybe? This is an exit that leads us to a different part of the city. Oh, well is this the power plant? Check the situation of the city's power plant. Hello, Electrician oh, Eleanor. Uh, those darn bots have busted up the transformer, dadgummit. <laughs> well, what's done is done. Just need a few parts from the transformer parts store. Woo, road trip, dibs on window seat. Ah, ball garment, they, they tore my car apart too. Got any spare car parts? Car parts, anything more specific? Gold well, darn it, I'm an electrician, not a mechanic, but if you need any need specifics, I'd prefer something with an engine and a steering wheel. Okay, okay, I've seen some parts lying around that should let us build something vaguely car-like. All right then, so we need to find two pieces. We need to find an engine and a steering wheel to build a car. Well, I think I might be able to find those, but for now let's interact with this hermit crab. What a beautiful animal, I agree. All right then, so moving over here, we get ourselves a steering wheel. Steering function improves when this piece is attached to a vehicle. And what else? There's a little news article that I can't really read. Too small, but um, this is the Lego news, very interesting. Another ladybug, we're finding them all over the place now. So that brings us down to 12 more to go. And there was something to find over this way. It is another valve, so we'll definitely interact with this one. And that unlocks another one. So let's see where this goes. We're right up this way where we can grab another bluebird. 
I know, wrong thing, sorry. 11 more to go, we're getting closer with everything, it's very exciting. Uh, but for right now, I just need to bust this open so we can find whatever the currency is for this area. It's gonna be donuts, of course. Donuts, you got 10 donuts. Very cool, so we'll need a good bundle of those eventually to uh, find more and more stuff, but for right now, back down this way. And I can interact with this big square, but I'm sure that'll be something eventually. It looked like there was another thing this way. So maybe this is where we can find the engine. Uh-oh, uh, maybe not. These robots don't seem too happy to see me. But right here, uh, the car engine, an impressive device that converts explosions into speed. Steering wheel check, engine check. That's everything we need to build a car. Troublemaking robot, they're just gonna speak binary at us and zap us, so we don't wanna interact with that. But yeah. It's true, the engine just sort of makes explosions and that's how th it goes, the internal combustion engine. Build a small car, let's try it. So we have all these pieces to put together. We need to put the steering wheel in, the, in front of the seat, attach a motor on top of the base plate, place all four wheels on the floor, reach the finish line and nothing may break. So this one's cool. I feel like the only thing that would make this even cooler is if we could uh, actually ride around with the vehicles we make. I feel like they did that, how do I rotate these? I guess I can't rotate them. Um, I feel like there was a really old Lego game that was like that, you could build your own car and then race it. I think it was just called Lego Racers. I wish they'd make like a new version of, of a game like that, that'd be cool. All right, so I'm trying to add all the basic stuff first. You know, the lights, all the details like that. There you go. Um, hmm. Then the engine, of course, but we could put the engine in the back, be like one of those kind of cars. And then maybe, let's put that there, there you go. That way we could put the steering wheel here, with the headlights in the front. Maybe we put something like this behind. Doesn't fit entirely behind though, so I might leave it. I don't think we really need it very much. Um, hmm. What can we add here? I guess I could do something like this. Will it fit under there? There it is. And then same thing on the other side. Perfect. I still can't quite add that, but maybe if I add another one of these pieces somewhere. That one doesn't quite fit. Huh. Oh, okay, wait. I got these, where were they? Right here, these tiny pieces. And I don't know if I should make this, you know, as complicated as I am. I'm just trying to make a cool car. That's right, the, the, the two studs behind the seat, you just can't really fit anything in. What if I were to do this, then there you go. You sort of reverse engineer it that way. Interesting that it works like that at all, but you know, if I figured it out, that's all that matters. This still won't attach, which makes me think, what if I were to why is that not working? Is it the wheels? I'm not sure, uh, but I guess I could try putting it there like that. There you go. And will this guy still fit? Ah, oh, now he doesn't though. Okay, I might not customize it too crazy, just because I do wanna get through this. So we'll just add some things like this, or not even. Oh my goodness, whatever. The seat just takes up weird spacing. So we're just gonna leave it like this. It's not the most fancy car, but if it gets the job done and we can move forward with the game, I think I appreciate that a little bit more right now. All right, time to split it, split up. I'll go get the parts we need while you two go, go into the power plant. Once you're there, look around for some emergency terminals. Emergency terminals, got it. And that'll help us jumpstart the power? Sure, but it's also my job to check them for maintenance, and this will save me a ton of time. Thanks. All right then, so they're driving off. Goodbye. And we're heading in. Okay, so what can we do in this place, the power plant? There seems to be a lot to do, but first off, we get ourselves a new ability, so that's exciting. Let's find a way to get to, to the emergency terminals the electrics mentioned. All right, check the situation. So yeah, if we get this, a brand new power for our friend, this will be exciting. So I think this will be a teleporter of sorts. Can't go back the way we came. New upgrade, electric powers, woo! Do I look different now that I'm all zappy? You're probably thinking, let me get a peek at you. Seems the way outside is closed now. 
let's see if we can do something with the emergency terminals now. So I'll do that soon enough. Is there anything over here? I guess not. So yeah, we can hold or press shift to create lightning and get teleported. I was right, so that's very cool. Can also interact with things like this. Whoa, and that's gonna raise some not so good looking water. Let's try this one. See, this one doesn't do anything, which might mean it's just like a return more than it is like a one I can get from. So I guess we'll have to see, but what about these things? It worked. What happens if we light all of them up? Let's try it. I'm super eager to get out there and back to those troublemaking robots. Ugh. It'll be fine. We've got a city to save. I agree. So let's get back out there for right now. It looks like I need to cross this little bridge. Maybe go up here. Nothing to access over this way. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll just have to explore around a little bit because I don't have the ability to break those open just yet. But maybe I could charge this one, and if we could get the water soon, that'd be good. That's two out of three. And I can reach this treasure chest and get some more donuts, I'm sure. There it is. We get 50 donuts that time. So we're up to 60 donuts in total, which is always good. But I need to find a way to switch to the water ability, I think is the next thing. So if we go over here, yeah, up the staircase or the ladder, and we can get this one. So with that, there's a few things we can do. So we're gonna go back all the way over. Sort of weird how I'm trying to like walk, but it doesn't really let me do it very easily. Sometimes it's easier to use my mouse to walk, sometimes it's easier to use the uh, the keyboard. But I now have the water, so I can just do something like this. Come on, there we go, much better. And then I can interact with this thing, I guess just to get back up there more easily. Was that all that did? I guess so. Can I bring the water back down? Yes. I don't know if that benefits me very much though. But what does that really change? I'm not really sure at the moment. Yeah, I was expecting all that to accomplish more to be honest with you, but it's okay. We'll get back up here because I, I see at least one more thing we can do. Um, if I select the water skill, and then I get over this way, I can water this down. I don't know where the other end would lead though, because I'm trying to get to the red thing too, and I just, I can't find a way to do that. But there's certainly something I can do, right? So if we go back to the electric power. Oh, I see actually. Um, First, yeah, there's one down there. I don't know how to get down there though, is the thing. So let's try to lower the water. You can still see it, it's not low enough. I, the, the electric thing down there. See, I don't know if lowering the water really gets me anything in this situation. Okay, so with the water lowered over here, oh, there is a staircase. That's the problem is it's very hard to catch a staircase. It doesn't even look like it's there. Okay, so that's what I was stuck on. Now I can interact with this. I guess lower the water there. Much better, much better. And now I can select the smash kill. With the smash skill, I can break this box open, no problem. And there should be a few more like that around that I might be able to interact with. But I don't know if I can reach them from here is the thing. So maybe I should go back the way I came. Is there really too much of a perk to even breaking those boxes? Because sometimes there'll be boxes or things you can smash and it doesn't really do much. It's a little odd. By the way, let's go down this side. I haven't really explored down here, even though it doesn't look like there is anything. So I guess we'll leave that be. Go back up the staircase. But our problem, yeah, is that there's no actual way. Oh, I see, I see. All right then, so we need the electric power to even get over there. Okay, so we're back over here. And as you can see, this is where things get tricky because I can't get up there without the smash power. But how am I going to do that? I don't really know. Well, I guess I could. Go back up here, raise the water. Yeah, they, they sort of added an extra layer to this that makes it just ever so slightly complicated, right? But that still doesn't raise this water. Hmm. Oh, I see, I see, okay. No, I, I, I got what I need to do here. It, it's just so time consuming and silly. I feel like they, they added an extra element to this. That they didn't really need to. We have to activate the smash skill again run all the way over here, pull the water back up so that we can walk across that bridge and smash it. And then we can get over after the water is lowered once more. So yeah, go, go, go. 
Smash all this stuff. Gonna do it one at a time. One more. Got it. So you get the idea now. Now we need to go all the way back over and uh, lower that water again. Okay, so now everything is finally cleared out. I can zap this one and see where it brings me. I honestly have no clue. Right up here, okay, yeah. That's good, right? Okay, yeah, I did not have that one activated. I got a little confused at the moment, but now we got it. Open Zappamy. It worked. Looks like the terminals opened the way for us. Okay, so with a new power available to us, we can get a lot done in this world now, so that's really cool. For right now, though, our focus is just to get back from where we came, which will include us just zapping across this one, and we are out of here. It doesn't look like there's any extra collectibles or anything to find around here, so I'm good to go, thank goodness. And, oh no, people are being attacked! Ah, I've been surrounded by evil robot monsters, help! Here I come, we'll save you, and we'll give those bots a shock while we're at it. All right, help the jogger in danger, so I can just zap them? There you go. What happens if I talk to them? Well, they just, they'll just zap me back. So, no talking. You think we can finally do something about those pesky bots with the electricity skill? I think so. And there's one more right over here. Got it. Wow, that was close, thanks. They must have been attracted by my Samba music. What makes you think that? You see them chasing any other people? They're only interested in these headphones. It's clear they have great taste in music. They just love the, the sensual beats. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to spread the word about my new workout routine. Getting jumped by robots burns so many calories. I wonder why the bots are interested in music. When I was just a probe, I never cared about music. Huh. Well, they are from like a different dimension, aren't they? Maybe probes are a little bit different there. Okay, well the electrician is back, so we'll talk to them to restore the power. Two more steps before this city has power again. See that transformer, the busted one? We gotta fix it. Wait, you're the electrician, why can't you fix it? Why can't you? Because electricity is dangerous and only an expert should mess around with it, and it's irresponsible to say otherwise to children. Ugh. Will you two fix it if I make you honorary electricians for the day? I guess so. Um, okay, honorary electricians, it's your time to shine. Just fix the transformer responsibly, and with your expert supervision, of course, wouldn't want to give the, 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 the kids any ideas. Electricity is very dangerous. Uh, repair the transformer unit. Okay, whoa, this looks complicated. Assemble the transformer just like the reference model. Gotcha, yeah, so we're doing one of these. And it looks like there's a lot of elements here, so I'm trying to figure out what goes first. Because I do see that this goes in right there. This part goes right there. This goes about here. Yeah, we might have to put this thing first, though. Yep, just like that. Then we do this thing. Perfect. And this definitely goes on the side. I like these. These are one of my favorites. It's just sort of matching it. It's not too complicated. This definitely goes there. And then on the back side here, we have a couple more things we can add. So I guess that about there works just fine. This needs to be flipped over. I see this one here, and then we need to make a copy for the other side. So what else are we missing? There's still a couple of things. I think for right now we want this, like that, and then on this side, just fit that in right over, uh, like that please, or, or not. It's so picky sometimes, it just, doesn't go in the way you want it to. So I'll just remove this and put it in and then put that back over. It's one out too far. Oh, do I have it flipped? I might, that might've been the issue. And then I need to flip this and we got it. Perfect, so there is a generator built. Very cool. Let's talk to you again. Perfect, right. Are you ready to graduate to full electricians? Are we? No, seriously, are we? You're the expert here. You're close, this is a test. Build new switchgear assemblies and you'll be closer. Okay, so I'll try that right over this way. 
Build a switch gear setup for the substation. Okay, now this one's a little bit more complicated. We need to place all three switch units, place a control panel not too high, uh, nothing may break, and wait some time. Okay, um, so the switch units are these things right here. There's three of them, and then the control panel not too high. So, I'm guessing, you know, closer to the ground is the opposite of not too high. So, we'll see if that works out. But in the meantime, and I need to just sort of do something like that, just to sort of get something started here. Actually, it might be better if I do these ones. Yeah, there we go. And then maybe with them, if I could, maybe not those. Would these be better? I need like an odd number plate. There we go, just to sort of build a little foundation. And I might be able to do more stuff with that. I only have one of those pieces left, but I do have four of these. Those wanna be super sturdy though. So, yeah, I feel like I don't have a ton of pieces here, but I could just do this for now. That is the uh, control panel, not too high, so that's good. Yeah, I don't have a ton of like super crazy pieces here that are like big, so I just need to, I guess just figure out how I wanna do this one. So right now it's a little complicated, but I could do something like that. And then with those pieces, do something like that. I'm just trying to build like a structure upward so I can get those to be higher. Cause I don't know if they need to be there exactly. Is that the idea? Hold on. If I were just to put them like that. Let me just get one little spot out here like this, just so I can see. Yeah, it doesn't count. They they need to be, I think, exactly where it's saying they need to be. So that's where things get tough and where I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, I'm putting the first transformer on it like that, and that seems like it worked pretty well. If I were to simulate this, it's not gonna fall over or anything, so that's good. Um, so I'm getting somewhere with that. That's nice to see. I think I just might wanna do the same thing for the other ones. It doesn't seem like these are you know, exactly heavy pieces. And there's nothing going to be going over top of them. So I think I'm fine with this. I just might need to get a couple more of these you know, basic stud pieces. One more, maybe. Actually, no, that's perfect. Right there, we just need one more. I have no clue if this is what it's supposed to look like or function like, but you now I'm just trying to do what I can with what I have. The only problem with this one is as you can see, it's actually supposed to be a little to the right. So what I might wanna do, it looks like it just needs to be one stud to the right, is do this, and then, you know, I don't think, you know, this piece is really accomplishing too much at the moment. I could just do this, and then same thing with this piece, just put it here. Got it? Okay, so now I just need to build up to it, I think, from here. No, no, no. Get this thing. Build it up, build it up. And then we're good. Let's hope this stays still and sturdy. No, it fell! Why did it fall? Um. Oh, it just gave way here. Wait, why? I don't know. I feel like that would be sturdy enough, but I guess not. Um. Maybe I could just do that. I think it's because it's on top of these kind of bricks. Oh, this is tough all of a sudden. Um, Because it's just this one that I need to figure out somehow. Yeah, uh, what if I got this thing? No, no, that was right, but I just need to move it over like that. Still, no, oh, that is annoying. Because we're so close, we're so close to where we need to be. And it just, it's not letting me do it. Um, hmm, there's gotta be a way. Maybe just doing this, getting something just a little bit more stable, you know? And then from there, if I could just add a couple of these basic ones. Okay, much better, much better. There we go, if it works, it works, right? Okay, finish. Jeez, wow, that looks pretty complicated. Uh, well, we did, we built that. That's very cool. Um, hello. So while we're kids, the city now has power again. So that's really it, no more things to fix? Yep, that's it. You really earned your place as true electricians today. I'm ready to, to take the rest of the day off now. 
Real attrition's how cool, but we're not done yet. Now that the power is working, we've got to get back to Rita. Okay, so we'll do that in just a second. Do you have anything else to say? That's a great car you built. Drives like a charm. I'm glad. So we got that figured out. I don't think there's anything too much more down here that we haven't, have I gone in here? Uh, Yeah, 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 this is where I was before, but I didn't do this little electrical thing, so I might as well, just out of curiosity, zap my way up here and get another chest with even more donuts inside. Hooray! I'll take it, so that's 10 more donuts for us, we're up to 70. Now I can zap my way back down. So we should be able to find things faster and more efficiently than ever. I think the only thing we're really missing at this point for exploring is going to be the purple thing, which is our last one. So I think that'll be next episode, very cool. Okay, so I guess for right now, we wanna go back to Rita, right? So Rita would be right down this way. Um, but we didn't explore anything more around here. So that's also something I can discover. We can find a blue bird there. Uh, I can switch over to this thing. Take a look around back this way in the sewer. Ooh, I find the whip again. Whip, now you can swing up the places higher up. I, I had that before, but maybe I guess it's just locked to each area you go to. That's odd. Anyways, nothing to worry about too much. I don't know if there's too many other ways to go. Well, actually there might be. We'll leave it, we gotta go talk to Rita. So, here's Rita. Hi. Wonderful, you restored power before the situation became critical. Wait. Would that have happened if the situation, what would have happened if the situation had become critical? Those bots would have endlessly emerged from the portal. Thanks to you, I can close it up tight now. Well, that's good. Okay, that portal's closing. Or is it? It is, okay. <laughs> Thought something disastrous might have just happened. Oh, by the way, we ran into some bots, but it was weird. They were attracted to some samba music? Curious, but music isn't simply a mathematical formula. I suppose they might be drawn to its repeating yet evolving structures. Or maybe they just learned how to appreciate beauty. I certainly can't be the only robot capable. I have a plan. We must construct a device to broadcast music across the whole city to attract the boss bot. And then we'll finish it off with the fury of nature herself with the power of lightning. Hmm, it's crazy. So crazy it might, it just might work. The only problem is finding the perfect spot. Aha, uh -huh, I've got it. We can use one of my surveillance drones to scout out the area by air. It just needs some fixing. Fixing? What happened to it? My last mission didn't go so well. The city doors are so picky. Don't run into the tree and run into the tree in my backyard. Don't drop your drone into my garden destroying all my veggies. Ugh, so petty. We'll fix it up. But you have to promise to avoid all tr all trees in future missions. <laughs> okay, so find a spot that to put up the speakers. I guess right here. Um build a drone to scout the area. Okay, for this one we need to add two sets of propellers, the antenna, the battery pack, and the camera, as well as keep the balance and wait some time. So this one actually, it requires a lot of gadgets on top of this. So we'll do what we can, keeping that in mind. But it looks like, you know, we could build some under, some over. I guess for right now, if we could do something like that, that might be good. Hmm. Because the battery pack is probably the best to have like under, but the camera is what we really need under it. Will that fit under now? I won't, so if I could do that, that's probably a good idea. Okay, from there, maybe I could just build on top of it like this. Okay, so there's so many options here, I'm trying to figure out what might be best. Because what if it would be better? I can't really, yeah, that's lopsided, so, or it's odd numbered. What if I did something like this? Ooh, okay, wait a minute. Hmm. I feel like no matter what I do here, there's always going to be, they're never gonna be perfectly symmetrical, which is a bit odd, but it's fine, I suppose. I'll just add some of these here so that we could put the propellers on, maybe. Uh, it won't let me. Oh wait, there it goes. I was just being picky. Oh, it needs both propellers, that's right. Okay, so I guess we'll just add some back here like this. I mean, obviously right now, not the most balanced thing. 
This is gonna be challenging. Um, hmm. Okay. Okay, well the propellers aren't spinning because it doesn't have the battery pack on it. I'm being really silly. So let's put that on and then the antenna. And this seems pretty simple, but if it works, it's going. Look at it go. Okay, very cool. So maybe that's all we needed. Yeah. We could add all this extra stuff, but the bare minimum works and why would I you know, really bother with it too much for right now? I think we wanna move on with the story a bit more. Um, so yeah, off it goes. Let's finish that. And there's your drone. It's a bare bones drone, but a drone nonetheless. So off it goes to film different things. Fine job. Now, by tapping into the proto homogenized radar camera array on the drone, we can perform an ocular pat down of the train to find a suitable position. Triangulating enhance, transmorgifying. I'm in. I found the place. We can position the speakers on the highest building west of this lab near the construction site. Synchronize your watches and we'll all meet there at 0500 p.m. Or wherever you make it, whenever you can make it. Or well, just follow me. <laughs> okay, well, we'll go up there in just a moment. Yeah, they're sort of leaving the sewer for now. Did we wanna take a, a look around here? It looks like there's a couple things I still might be able to do, uh, but I don't know how to quite get to them. I think this is where we came in before. Yeah, I remember. So if we use the electric power, Right here, I think this will zap us back down to the corner where we have a chameleon to grab, 12 more to go, and a little lever to undo something back that way. Cool. So I might mess with that in a little bit, but for right now, zap our way back through and continue with the story. So we're traveling north for, for now, we're still making our way through the sewer. I can't reach the other side. Any way you can help me cross this gap? Go to the construction site west. So first off, I need water. And we can just wash this off. And we'll just get a chameleon out of that. I thought that would be something more. Gotcha. 11 more to go, we're closing in on it. And what's going on around here? I can't quite get through that water. Very gross looking water too. There's multiple ways up. Let's try this way first. Okay, there's something. I reveal it. Aha, it's a teleporter. So we gotta reveal it and then zap it. And where will this bring us? Way over here where I can fill up some water. So we're using a whole chain of power-ups now, it's cool. And that's all filled up, raising the water level, for better or for worse. I'll turn back in just a second, but this is where we can also use the whip we found earlier. Just like that, and grab, no, 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 no. Hold on, I wanna grab the bunny first. Then we can worry about all that. Here. Uh, Collect the bunny. That's 12 more to find. Making great progress with all sorts of stuff, but there's still plenty more to do. Like this hermit crab. So let's get over to the hermit crab. That will be, uh, it still doesn't tell me. I think that's probably, I guess, for a future area then. Was this a good idea though? I'm not quite sure. Um. Oh wait, yeah, that's right, this will bring me Oh, I see, I see. So I gotta go across the way and then zap myself over to somewhere. I don't know what this does, where this will bring me. Up here, okay. So now I can pull the lever. And there we have it. Wonderful, let's continue onward. I will in just a moment. What's in this corner? Nothing that I can't quite get to. It's blocked off at the moment. So nothing I can do without extra powers. And we're in a construction zone. Ah, my peculiar lab assistants. I, your hyper-intelligent superior, need your help. I must find a way to, to the other building to install the speakers. Ha, huh, why don't you just invent a flying machine and fly across? Oh, I did, but it opened a rift in space-time again. Creating a, created a time paradox, yada yada. You know how it is. I just finished undoing that mess. Really, I should have just tried making this construction workers instead, or asking this construction workers instead of coming up with such a convoluted solution. Could you ask them for me? All right, so I guess she has a problem of over-engineering things. All right, so this is construction worker Amelie. What are you doing here? This is a live construction site. Have you read the safety pamphlets? I guess not. The whole city is overrun by brick ceiling robots. Isn't that a safety concern? We need to get onto the roof of that high building to fight them. Oh, I see. But you're out of luck if you wanted to use the crane to get up there. It's broken and we're out of fuel to fix it. 
We could get some fuel if only this bridge weren't damaged. Lousy public infrastructure, underfunded and under maintained. Again, that was the brick stealing robots. We'll fix the bridge. Okay, so we have to do that somewhere. In the meantime, you've got to build a bridge so we can fetch more gas for the crane. You expect me to work in these conditions? Everything is a total mess. I'm going to go on a break and calm my nerves. You do that. Uh, work disruptions bought from another dimension, whatever. There's always something to fix. This isn't really anything new. Okay, so we'll go and build that bridge in just a moment, but I am a little curious to see what else is around here. Like what's over this way? Uh, it looks like there's, you know, buildings to go into and such, so I wanna check it out. There's a little ladybug. There we go. <laughs> Love and more to go. Looks like that's all there is on this side. But if I go back over, can I go into this doorway? Not quite at the moment, but I do see this chameleon in the corner. The corner chameleon, leading us down to our final 10. That's cool. So yeah, I guess for now, as long as there isn't anything hiding back this way, which there certainly might be, there's not. So I guess we just need to build that bridge. So we've built plenty of bridges in this game. What's another one? Repair the street and build the, a stable pillar to support it. Okay, so get the vehicle to the other side. This is a big vehicle too, so it's gonna take some work. But we have that one in the center, and I think for right now, it's gonna make the most sense just to stack those up. And then I guess, how many of these do we have? We have 10 of them. Okay. Guess we'll do something like that for now. And then maybe, I don't know if that's the best idea. I mean, it, it fits pretty well. If we were to do this, you can see, it matches up okay. Obviously, if this were to work, it'd just break right there. Or maybe it wouldn't. It did break uh, over, <laughs> over the time of that. So that's where things get a little complicated. But you know what we could do? What if I just, yeah, what if I just did this? Hmm. Let's test that out really quickly. Uh, simulate. I think that might be enough to hold it together. There we go. All right, cool, take it. Not a very fancy bridge, but if it gets the job done, then that's what truly matters. Here we go. So the, the, the gas truck gets across and it's off. Back with some extra fuel. Whoa, and there we go, the generator is going again. All right, the crane is full of fuel now. It's just a shame that we weren't able to fix the arm in the meantime. Not to worry, we're here to help after all. We'll have that crane ready ASAP. What's that mean? A slippery artichoke pickled? Approximate slope angle predictor? It means right away. <laughs> Ackerman doesn't make any sense. It doesn't even have the right amount of words. Well, it actually stands for as soon as possible, but. It was an abbreviated version of that abbreviation, I guess. Uh, I do see an extra hermit crab to get behind here, so let's get that. Then let's get back to it right over this way. Build a jib and a counterweight for the crane. Ooh, so this one's gonna be complicated. We need to place the winch, nothing may break, and wait for some time. So what makes this so complicated, right, is we can't just have you know, everything built up to the left. We need some extra counterweight to the right so it doesn't all just topple over and that is certainly going to be interesting. I don't know exactly the best way to go about that, but we're gonna try. Um, so maybe something like this for now. Uh, maybe I could just do one of these. Sometimes it's better to do two of them than just one. I feel like that adds like an extra little bit of strength. And then what if we kept going like this? Hmm. What if I did something yeah, like this instead? Just, no, no, no. Move them out just a little bit like that, and then duplicate it over. This is all to the side, which is not what I intended. Much better. I'm just trying to look at the uh, different pieces here as well and see what we might be able to stabilize with. Because even doing something like this, I think would be helpful. Huh. And then maybe I could just put this one right now, right here. Because I just, I don't know if this would quite hold the way I'll need it to, but we're gonna find out. And this wouldn't really be exactly where I need it to. Darn, okay, so 
How would I change that? I guess I could, there's a couple of things I could do here. What if we raised that like that, but maybe a little bit over? Yeah, just like that. I don't know if I should build an extra one under. Cause that's certainly doable. And then we just place this on top, right? Ooh, not quite. I'm just trying to find out where, do, where does this need to be exactly? Cause even that's one too high. So I guess I would need to, oh no, move these down another one. Okay. Okay, so what I'm a little curious about is would this just fall over? It would. And that's where I'm a little concerned and trying to figure out how would I make things sturdier than this? Cause clearly this isn't very sturdy. I don't know, I feel there's so many options here on how exactly to do this. Cause there's no way on the under, under, under side of it. There's gotta be a better way, I just don't quite know it. Hmm. I think one thing that could definitely help is all of this. So I got one of these pieces, put it under and then two of those. So that maybe I could yeah, do something like that. I can now make it a lot sturdier. There's still a lot more I have to do to actually get it there though. And that's where things get so scary and very difficult. Um, Cause I can do something like this, of course. And then maybe just do that again here. Get something across it like that. There's nothing connecting those two pieces at the moment. I know that, but just trying to, well, before I do that then, let's um, do this. Get these two pieces here as well. Then maybe something like that. And then here, let's see how this works. It still breaks off right there. How would I, I don't know how I would reinforce that, that you know? That's where things get really, really complicated. I'm just not quite sure. What if I were to put something like that there and then do this? Hmm. Oh no. Like this? Oh, oh, okay. That worked. Now we still have to wait it out. I was going to add more to that, expecting that was only just the first piece of the puzzle, but we did it. We made the crane, okay. I thought I was gonna be stuck on that one for much longer, but look at us. We're able to get the uh, professor up there, no problem. And now we can do the same thing, right? Help you to destroy the boss spot. I would love to. So we're going up to the rooftop. And there was a couple of things I could do around here. I did see, yeah, a few, a few things. That is so cool though. I'm so happy we, we solved that one without too much of a hassle. Let's materialize this valve. And that opens up that door down there. So I'll definitely have to head down there in a moment. Actually, maybe I'll do it now because I'm still looking for the boo store. I would like to spend my donut somewhere, please. Get some cool costumes. That'd be nice, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Maybe it's in here, maybe it's not. I'll just wanna run over and see really quickly. So that was right over here into this door. And that gets me to a treasure chest, which is great. Which is not everything I needed at the moment. That gets us up to what, like 70, 80 donuts, something like that. Yep, 80 donuts. And now I'm back to going to the rooftops so that we can figure some of the things out. <laughs> I'm just, I'm still so pleased we were able to solve that crane one without too much of a headache. Cause I feel like, you know, especially the, the scaffolding sort of has me still a little traumatized with how difficult that was with the, the fire escape or whatever. That was challenging. Okay, so let's come up here and talk to you. Excellent work, my minions. I'm sorry, your minions? Oh, it's just mad scientist jargon. My mistake. Oh, final, one final step now. You go build the speaker array while I set up the coils. Listen up team, here's the plan. Codename Screaming Eagle, that's me, will oversee construction of a speaker array and two zapping coils. But first, Bravo team codename Handy and the Tin Man, that's you two, need it to construct a bridge that will allow us to teach, the, to reach all three spots. Do you understand that your assignment? Yes, ma'am. We are to construct a walkway to allow access to where we want to put the speaker array and the coils. Perfect. 
we'll synchronize our watches and meet back here at 026 900 hours. Uh, now, Golf Tango, Foxtrot, Oscar on the devil. Okay, I don't know what any of this means, but uh, I guess I build. Build a walkway to reach all locations. Okay, um, this might be a bit complicated, but just get the test robot to the goal, nothing may break. So there's going to be several test robots getting to several different spots. Um, so let's just see what we can do about that. I guess, oh, there's these little stair pieces. Those were cool. This feels complicated for sure, but uh, hmm. How may we want to start this one? I might want to do something like this just for some extra stability. Do the same thing here. And then are those matched up the same height, right? Yep, they are. The only concern with that is that like it's not going to be strong enough to hold. I could try it really quickly. It doesn't break. Okay, that's great. Um, hmm. I'll put this here just to keep things nice and even over that way, but I think I want to do something like that. Maybe put it more like this. I definitely feel like I don't have all the right pieces for what I want to do. But for now, I could... Oh no, do this. Does that not connect? Oh, it does, it does. Okay, um, let's do another staircase. And what about this? Hmm. I don't know if that's what I want at the moment. I guess I could add some of these and try just to get across with that. Not quite where I want it. Um, I guess one of these. I mean, that sort of works, almost. Uh, we need to fill that gap a little or do this and then this, but that might fall. Let's just see. Yep, you're gonna fall. Jeez, um, how do I manage this one? It just feels like, once again, we don't get the right pieces to do anything similar to what it's trying to make me wanna do. Uh, okay, I need to think it through. So I've been really toiling away here and it's been so difficult, but one thing to keep in mind is where everybody is going. So the green one has a green arrow there, so it's trying to get across to this flag right here. Um, the red one starts at the very top. It is trying to just go to the left to the, le the red flag. The purple one starts at the far end there and is trying to get to the top. So like everything needs to be connected. Um, and so far that is just proving to be so, so difficult because just you don't have too many places where you actually have significant ground support. So I'm just trying my best to actually connect everything properly at the moment and making sure it's sturdy, which takes a lot of just trial and error, trial and error. Um, but I could just, even as simple as that, which maybe not the best spot right there, but it is something like that. It's not easy, that's for sure, but I'm just trying to make things work where they can work, you know? It's it's really difficult, but let's see, the blue one, I just need one of them to try to walk across to the right, and so far they're not touching it at all. I mean, maybe there's a smarter way to do it. Well, the problem right now is that there's actually not really too much of a way for them to get across here. So like, even if I did this, I think they might fall. Let's try it, let's try it. Oh, the blue one did it, so. They're at least stress testing that for me and it's working out pretty well. But now I have these stairs, of course, and I'm trying to get them to be sturdy but reliable. Um, I might do something like this. Oh gosh, um, hold on, not quite where I needed it. Yeah, I guess about there. Um, the problem is like, I just feel like we don't get enough bricks. We don't get enough of the bricks we really truly need to make this all work. It, it, that's a little frustrating, but I'm trying to do what I can with it all make the most of the situation, you know? But it, it's just hard to do that. Really hard to do that. So I just gotta keep chipping away at this and apply as much of the logic we've learned so far. Cause look, that's too tall. It's just, ah, oh, come on, come on. I'm just trying to make it work with the, the mediocre at best pieces you've given me here. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, I could just stack this up real tall, but that I, I really need those pieces later on. So. How else am I going to do this? I guess I could try some of these. The problem with it is it's just, what do I do with it then? I guess this and then this. 
Mm. It's almost there, it's almost, we're so close, but it's these next few steps that are so difficult. So far, we sort of have something working. As you can see, the only problem is it can't get up that one step, but we can fix that by just doing that there. Okay, so let's see, the green one's going to the one flag, no problem. The blue one is trying to get up these stairs. Oh, but it's trying to go to the right. Okay, so that's not even the issue. Um, so we have two out of the four. That's really, really good news. Um, so if I could just build some kind of bridge like this, I don't know if this would work. I, I really don't think so. Um, <laughs> I'm out of pieces though. There's gotta be a way I can solve this a little bit more. Oh my goodness, it is so frustrating because it just, I don't like the pieces they gave me for this one. Um, I can't really steal those pieces. I'm trying to find a way to make this all work and it's just, it's so darn stubborn. Um, I'm hoping I can maybe, it's just where can I squeeze these? These always seem to be a little too tall, but I can do, I can get rid of these and put them here instead. Okay, so let's try that out first and foremost. That's good there. Will the red one be able to get up that platform? Yes, okay, so we're getting somewhere with that. Now that those pieces are borrowed, maybe I could shift this to the side and get this onto there. I know it's it's sort of like a weird solution, right? But if it works, it works. It's just all I'm just trying to keep in mind for right now. What if I got this here? And then this one there. If it can just stay on, if they can just hold on for a moment. Okay, purple goes to purple. Blue is trying to get up red and blue are getting stuck into each other, which is just fantastic. Um, how would I even make a staircase like this wider? Um, I could just add some pieces here and there and see if maybe they just avoid each other. But beyond that, I really don't know how I would fix such a thing. Let's simulate that. If just, please just go around each other. That is, I feel like that's hardly fair. You know what I mean? Just how am I supposed to tell them where to go? Okay, I did it enough. I did it enough that they were able just to shuffle by each other. Oh my gosh, we did it. That one took a ton of time too. Great work, my minions. Now Team Bravo, build the speaker scaffolding while I will install the coils. Oh my goodness, there's more. Okay, that's fine though. So hopefully if they can get through, I can get through, right? There we go. And this one. Build a scaffolding, build a scaffolding with all the speakers mounted on it. So what is going on with this one? Um, hang the speakers on the scaffolding. So that's like this stuff. There needs to be eight of those. This seems complicated because we couldn't just, you can see with how they're sort of set up. We can't just like stack them normally. Huh, okay. Yeah, this is a bit odd actually. What, 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 am I, what am I to do here? I can't put these here, they don't fit. Um, so I guess for right now, let me just try to get some of them set up like this. So we have these little studs, would that be enough? There you go. Um, I know it's probably not the most preferred way with all of them, but that's how we could just get it started. And that gets four of them gone and figured out right off the bat. So that's nice. And then we could, okay, we're up to something. Do that. And on those, what can I do? I could build something crazy like that. That's interesting. Um, but here comes the question, what do I do with all of that? You know, like how can I, Oh, does that count? Let's see, if I were to, I can't even simulate it just yet, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. But, I mean, so far it looks like it counts. There you go. Um, if that's the case, maybe there is a lot more I could do here. I thought that would maybe be a little bit more stubborn on how these would be set up, but so far, if this works, I'll be totally happy with it. So, let's get this one to the side. They can fit there. It looks like it can't, it needs to be built up a little bit higher. That's where I just can add another one. It's a very complicated looking speaker. And then one out here. Finish, okay, it works. I'm so happy with that. All right, so that looked like it was gonna be complicated, but they didn't make it too crazy. Nice work you did there. Now you have to power the two coils I placed by pulling their levers. That's gonna be right down this way. Activate the zappers. Um. Where? 
I don't quite know where. Did I pass it? I might have passed it. Um. Oh, up here. Yeah, I'm being silly. Okay, so let's pull this thing. Ooh, good zap. I think that's only one part of it, though. I need to find, oh, the other levers. Okay, I see one now. Right over here. Was there one up there? I don't think so. So, I got one. Here is the other. I'm gonna yank that one down. Report back to Scientist Rita. At last, the device is complete. Do you want to press the button to on the remote, my peculiar, peculiar minion? Oh, no thanks. I wanna be totally blame free if this all goes wrong. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it myself then. We will lay, lay waste to our enemies. <laughs> oh wow, I immediately regret my decision. That looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, so let's see if this does away with all the robots. Come on, playing some good Saba music. Come on over, robots. They seem like they like it. Oh no, whoa, super zap. There we go. Splendid work, my minions. I still think assistance has a better ring to it. Splendid work, assistance. With your help, we have saved the city from danger. Our grandpa knows a little something about being a responsible mad scientist. Can I put you in touch? Grandpa, you mean my brother? I always thought he was boring, but I never wanted to be evil. I just wanted to toy with the laws of space time as a kitten toys with the ball's string. You should have a talk with Grandpa, a long talk. Oh, I am so relieved. You two really saved the day. Now anyone fancy a stroll on the boardwalk? So there we go, I guess we saved the day and because of it we get our happiness crystal. I didn't find Boo's uh, costume shop in this one, but I think we'll just leave it for another time because we spent a lot of time in today's episode just exploring everything. Uh, all said and done, I'm quite pleased with how everything turned out. Me too. Thank you for helping us. The brave citizens of the city were just about to rise up against the villainous bots. You were so much help today. We couldn't have done it without the two of you. Thank you for helping us. Now I can continue my break in peace. And I'll talk to you really quickly. Break time. <laughs> All right then, so let's get ourselves our fourth or fifth, I think, yeah, happiness crystal. That's awesome. And another one. So there we go. The city area, very, very cool. I can't wait to explore more of that later on. But for right now, we have to give Gramps our last, uh, our second to last happiness crystal. I think there's gonna be one more after this. Uh, it seems we have gathered enough energy to perform another large scale transformation. I'm sure your grandpa is already waiting for us at the next area. Hey, over here. All right, then let's go talk to Gramps. Hey, buddy. Let's power the transformation device. So I gotta walk over to it. Let's power it with the energy you gathered from the city. So that goes in. Tons of power, makes a whole new section up here. Whoa, it's a Ferris wheel, awesome. It worked again. How about you design all the parts for this attraction now? Okay, so let's go for this one then. We'll put all this together. Uh, build a cabin for the Ferris wheel. Um, So here we go. Once again, I've spent a lot of time in today's episode building, so I'm a little burnout. So I think we will just focus on putting together a simple, approachable build. So maybe I could just, I mean, technically as long as it has five build elements, you know? And I'm always trying to give, you know, everything my best shot, but it's just one of those things where this episode, it was probably not as long for me as it, I mean, as long for you as it is for me, but this episode took me like two hours to record at the minimum. Uh, just trying to figure everything out now. See, that's a little too long. I guess it's supposed to be like a door, so we could do that. There you go, pretty simple. We'll keep it like that. Uh, what about this next one? Another cabin for the Ferris wheel. This one's a whole different set of colors, but I'm sure we could do something cool. Can we put them up here? We can't, uh, it's fine. Um, yeah, it'd be cool if there was like a total free building mode. That'd be very fun. I could even set it apart a little bit like that if I wanted to. And then I could maybe in the back put something. Oh, okay, that doesn't quite work the way I thought it would. But I could put that there, put these in the back, as much as the chair will let me. I don't think the chair's gonna let me very much, so maybe I won't worry about it too much. If I know we're ready to go. But. There we go. A little bit more of a simple one, but I could put some extra stuff up here. Got it. And then one last one waiting for us right here. 
Uh, the cabin for the Ferris wheel. This one's green, ooh, my favorite. Maybe we'll do this one a little bit different. Can I put it to the side at all? I guess not. Hmm. Problem is, like, once you get the chair in there, most things just don't fit. But I could do something like that. There you go. And then maybe... Oh, there we go, it's like under it. That's cool, actually, I like that. Um, we can put this there, and maybe some stuff on the back end. Oh no, uh, much better, much better. And then let's do one of these. That looks pretty cool. Then if we wanted to try putting this here again, that looks pretty good. I think we'll leave it like that, not anything too crazy, but those three are just sort of rolling around out there, or spinning, well, however you would describe the motion. This is so much fun! Do you offer annual, annual passes? Not yet, but we'll consider it. Very cool. So anyway, where to next? Just a moment, setting up a new destination. So this looks like it's going to be our fifth and final destination. If we look there at the uh, teleport, I don't see any spots for it. Next episode, we'll be going to the Caribbean. Whoa, that'll be cool. So an ocean-faring adventure, I'm sure, but uh, all right, you two, what are you waiting for? Off to the Caribbean. We'll do that in the next episode of Lego Brick Tales. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.